started my Young Guns program was because there's elders, you know, people above me who gave me a chance, whether it been surfing, skiing, uh, or photography. You know, they, they helped me out and I'll never be able to repay them back. But by being able to give this back to them is, you know, to the next generation is, uh, comes down to what comes down to goes around. I first ever wore a helicon from my dad who's best mates with Tony Harrington who puts the event together and I got chosen the first year, picked as a young gun and then the second year got invited back and now this third year I'm the ambassador for it. I think uh, the face of skiing is changing and it's definitely moving towards a younger, fresher, more vibrant generation. And, uh, get excited because big things will be happening and uh, yeah the young guns at World Heli Challenge have definitely got a future ahead of them in Park, Big Mountain or whatever they want to do because they're already chasing up everyone else who's 10 years older so it's only a matter of time. Finished with the World Hello Challenge freestyle day. First run went well, landed on my feet. Didn't do any tricks, but it's all right. Had fun. Second run, sick powder up the top. Butchered it down the bottom though. But what do you live and learn? I don't think I've seen an event such a concentrated group of talented young skiers, and it's and it's exciting seeing like what these kids can do when exposed to terrain and <laughs> such such a confronting like situation but I I don't I just don't think I can imagine any other future generation being as dominant as this one's gonna be. The World Heli Challenge was born before me in my hometown. I've grown up hearing the helis and seeing the t-shirts. I'm so grateful and lucky enough to be able to compete as a young gun this year. I've met a lot of amazing people and learned a lot about skiing and life. I believe that dreams come true and I'm inspired and I'm sure glad that what goes around comes back around.